This is the third topical video from the long form Spotted Owl interview. On this video, you're going to hear us talk about hospitality and what that means and how the Spotted Owl created it and how they wanted to create a Cleveland bar, not a New York bar, and how they wanted to not have any frills or anything like that to hide behind. All they wanted to do was make great cocktails, and I hope you enjoy, and uh, thanks again for watching. I got the opportunity to come into the Spotted Owl um, when I was up here visiting uh, right around Thanksgiving of last year. I walked in there expecting pretentiousness because mm. that's what you a lot of times get from most cocktail bars. Like when I when we walked in, I'm seeing behind the bar, they're wearing t-shirts and they're yelling, hello, welcome, from like behind the bar and seeing you guys work. You guys have every right to be pretentious. To have you guys be as talented as you are and to not have that, it's amazing to see. You can come in and get a really decked out cocktail or you can get a shot in the beer. We're going to treat you the same way. Has that been right. something that's always kind of been the goal? Like, Will, like from the get-go, is to have that sort of welcoming, unpretentious sort of culture? Or is that something just developed from hiring great people like Terrell and Serge and all the other bartenders that are here? Um, I, I, can I say something about that real quick? Yeah. We adopt that mentality of like, we're never like finished learning, you know what I mean? So like we have this like innate like, humility about us and like the people around us will keep us humble while we're there. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing, CJ. I, I, I think to answer your question, what motivated me to build the owl was that I wanted to build a Cleveland cocktail bar. I didn't want to build a New York cocktail bar in Cleveland. I didn't want to build a Portland, Oregon cocktail bar in Cleveland. I wanted to really take that kind of scrappy uh, <clears throat> blue, blue color, color yeah, absolutely. Kind of attitude. Yeah, and I wanted to apply it to cocktails. And, and so when you start there, right, you, then that, the next place you arrive is, first of all, it's got to be just as, uh, it's got to be just as fun to get a beer and a shot in this place as it is to get a fancy cocktail. And secondly, there can be zero bullshit. Because when, when, I, when I opened the Owl, I, I opened it having decided to stay in Cleveland, for, which is a place I wasn't from, that I had no connection to, but that I had arrived here and really fallen in love with it and fallen in love with the culture of it. And the, one of the things that I really loved about this place was that the bullshit meter here is so dialed in. It's so, it's so finely tuned that like any notion of like, no, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna overstuff these couches and we're gonna put up some velvet drapes and then people are gonna think our cocktails are good because I spent a million dollars building this place out. Yeah. I said, no, 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 that's like Cleveland's, <laughs> like Cleveland's gonna see through that in a second. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. our whole thing was that, you know, we're gonna go into this ancient 150 year old space. We're gonna be, we're gonna build it out the way we think it should be built out. It's gonna be pretty austere. Um, but the service is going to be genuine and it's going to be, it's going to be real and the drinks are going to be really, really good. And the really excellent blue collar service and the really excellent cocktails are going to speak for themselves because that's what Cleveland is. And that's what Detroit is. And that's what Pittsburgh is. And that's what this whole part of the country is like their bullshit meter is so dialed in that like, what if we built a bar where, the bartenders dressed like bartenders. They, did, they weren't wearing bow ties and vests. We don't need costumes. We don't need gestalt. We don't need nonsense. We have a good product that we believe in. We believe in ourselves. We believe in, our, in, in each other. And we believe in our product. And we're going to let that speak for itself. We had a quote. There's a Japanese proverb. I'm going to paraphrase. It's a Japanese proverb that says, the most selfless thing you can do is build something beautiful, knowing that the intent is to, for it to get destroyed. When you love somebody, you love them because a piece of you is inside of them, you know? And what the cocktails are doing is that you're putting yourself into them and like creating like this environment of love and like compassion for that other person who's in front of you, enjoying this thing that you're drinking. You know, there's a, there's a very particular feel in the Tremont location, right? And you might think that has a lot to do with like the the physical space itself with the interior design with the fact that it's in this historical building but then you open up this new bar in akron that's in a totally different space um with a totally different sort of physical feel 
and of course, yeah, you're serving the same product, but like the atmosphere, the interaction between the staff and your customers is so consistent that it like translates between two different cities in two totally different environments. And I think that says a lot about um, the kind of intangible aspects of what you created. I think that I want somebody, I want a bartender with a capital B, right? Like I want a platonic form ideal bartender. And a platonic form ideal bartender is somebody who a stranger walks into their shop and sits down at the bar. Oh, they can look at them from across the bar and they don't know them from Adam, but they give a shit about them. They care about them. That's it. I think what I like about everybody who ended up on this call is that in one way or another, they can all speak to that as a value of this company. Ultimately, this, this business is about meeting a stranger and making them a friend. That's it. That's the whole thing. And I think that that value and that idea permeates every aspect of this company people come in as customers and they leave as friends people come in as job applicants and they leave as friends people come in as job applicants and they leave as social media managers people come in as customers <laughs> and they end up as marketing managers these things are they all come from the same place which is that as a company, as a culture, as a family, what we care about is looking at people and meeting strangers and caring about them the first time we meet them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please check out the long form video of this Potted Owl interview. Uh, it's the full video. So basically all these topical videos rolled into one. Um, really, really cool. And it's really fun to see the interaction between the staff. So make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or you want to be a part of the Cleveland Happy Hour, as always, please, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you and talk to you. If you're a bar owner, bartender, server, host, anything, I want to hear from you. And uh, let's talk and give you a chance to share their story. Uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Hope you all are safe. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.